Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Tuesday, September 17th will be our big, beautiful full moon. I think some are going to call it a super moon, and yeah, I guess it's a little bit bigger than normal, but you probably won't notice. Uh, sunspots are kind of quiet for once. The big, a lot of the big stuff is around the backside. We've got a couple here that are rotating into the uh, shoot zone, and these are just starting to leave. So, yeah, neat. Uh, drought conditions, interestingly, getting worse along I-25 and vanishing in the western part of the state. So you can see it's, it's kind of through here. We do need some uh, more sustained rain. I would like to shut off my sprinkler system. Nationwide, with all the heat, uh, we do have a lot of evaporation going on, so some level of drought is starting to return to a lot of the nation. If we can get a progression of storms, then uh, I could start to turn that around. Um, hurricane that just slammed in here, moving up to here, that's going to change this region a lot. Uh, things got a little worse up in the Pacific Northwest. Smoke, yeah, we got fires in the west, fires in Southern California. Um, we are right in here. I don't know why there's not a dot this time. Um, we didn't get an animation of it. We aren't in getting the worst of the smoke. Western slopes are kind of staying on that side of the Rockies for the next few days. Rain-wise, we did get some along I-25. Just small amounts. Uh, that light green is half inch to an inch, but right around Longmont, very minimal. So most of this is up in the mountains. Okay, we've got a couple more weeks for the uh, severe weather climatology quasi animation. Second week of September, still possible. It's always possible, but third week of September, it becomes pretty unlikely. And fourth week of September, September it's just a little bit out in the Great Plains, Tornado Alley. In reality, we have a marginal risk in the northern mountain states. We have the uh, tornado chance and severe weather chance on the right side of the incoming hurricane. That uh, expands us a little bit, moves a little bit east as the hurricane comes in. On Thursday, we get this slight risk and marginal up in Montana. The severe weather definitely moves north. Canada has storm chasers too. By Friday, things quiet down. We got a marginal risk still on the right side of the remains of the hurricane, which I don't have a graphic for. Wow. Um, looking nationwide, we just have a chance of rain here on Wednesday. You'll see thunderstorms wandering around. 50-50 chance, um, so you might get something. Here comes the hurricane. Heavy rain, of course, where it goes. We have critical fire weather for Thursday, so hot, dry, with an approaching front. We have windy conditions. For Friday, the front will come through, so you'll notice a little bit cooler weather. Not much, but uh, here the low is still spinning over the Mississippi River in Arkansas, Tennessee. Mississippi border. And our normals are dropping quickly from 80 to 76 is what we expect. So the fact that we're still getting 90s, like that is really becoming significantly hot. Uh, 50 down to 46. Can you believe that? 46 is normal uh, in about 10 days. And uh, yeah, we're, we're inching our way down to freezing. There's our Wednesday rain chances. And after that, it is just not much. I'm sorry. Next 10 days nothing big is looming. We do have moisture in the atmosphere right now. We have a trough coming in that's giving us a Wednesday night storm chances and let's take a look at it. There's the trough, kind of a bowling ball cut off low there. This is the uh, remains of Hillary moving through. And then for a while we have southwest flow which favors warmer temperatures. Another low comes in, cuts off and then slides up to our northeast. That's Wednesday to Thursday next week. If it was closer and we had some moisture around, we could get some good storms, but we don't have that. Here comes another one doing the exact same thing. A little closer, so we should see a line of storms, but the, as you'll see, the dew points remain uh, further east. And then we get kind of zonal flow. The r ridge center is right there, 10 days out. So again, the reds here are above normal, wherever, whatever the local normal is, blues are below normal. Uh, that's in the weekend, that little cooling on Friday, then the heat comes right back through the weekend. 
that next little cutoff bowling ball thing starts approaching the west there's thunderstorms through there and it cools the west but it doesn't really and there's our cold front on wednesday but it's weak uh doesn't really get over the mountains no, not great so then the heat is back by friday the 20th saturday the 21st west of the rockies uh, kind of cool east of the rockies where we are very warm and then a hint of another big cold front up here that pushes down and that's the end of our animation so here comes the moisture with dying hurricane and you can see our moisture gets completely swept out at that mini front on friday there is a, s a system coming up here into the gulf i don't know if on wednesday it was named yet but you can see the atmospheric moisture definitely definitely increases but that's not all the surface uh, moisture and it hangs around through the 18th wednesday next week and then we're in the dry conditions again the moisture tries to come back and then a line of thunderstorms forms out on the plains moving away and we dry out uh, again looking at surface dew points this is really why it's just kind of quiet we start with 40s and then we drop down to 30 dew points this is where you're getting your critical fire weather again 20s teens dew points up here 40s try to push back now and then but for the most part it's kind of 30s and that's pretty dry. So September 17th, there's Wednesday next week. Deep moisture is not far away, it's just not coming into Colorado really. There's Friday the 20th, 21st. Yeah, plenty of moisture out here, nothing really in Colorado, it just dries out again. So here goes our Wednesday storms, there goes the hurricane inland. It just kind of parks it there for a little bit. Some of its energy starts to transfer offshore. We are high and dry through Saturday, Sunday. There's Monday. And a new low forms out here. And kind of maybe tropical storms a little bit. And then comes back to the west. We get thunderstorms there on Wednesday, but it's out on the plains. Dry again. And then the remains of that secondary system kind of go up the east coast slowly. There's a big line of thunderstorms for next weekend after this weekend, but they happen to the east and they're gone. So over the next five days, really pretty dry. Over the next 10 days, awfully dry still. Um, not good news. So 90s uh, for Wednesday, Thursday, we briefly dropped to the 80s with that weak cool front on Friday, but nothing gets uh, squeezed out of the sky. Back to 90s and upper 80s into next week. Um, there's a possible cool down, possible showers on Tuesday, but that's pretty much going to be to our east. So that's it. Kind of dry end of summer here. Uh, this has been Chief Meteorologist, can't say the word, uh, John Ensworth, urging you to keep looking up.